Queen Rising, everyone. Welcome back to Memoirs of a Black Hole. I hope everyone woke up on the good side of the bed. The only thing on your mind is all the abundance that is flowing through your life right now. What's up, team? What's up, team? So, team, I'm trying to see what deck I'm going to use for you. So I'm just trying to pull in a little energy from my team. Let's see. Let's see. What do my team need to hear today, team? What do my team need to hear today? Okay. So, I got to get y'all some channel messages. And then I got to pull out old faithful. I got to pull out old faithful then. Oh my God. Team said, get y'all some channel messages. They have already been shuffled, guys. So don't worry. They have all been shuffled. I went through all of my babies last night, gave them shuffling, gave them more bondage. Oh, make sure they stay secured and in place and put my hands on them. So, they have already been done, guys. What's up, team? I hope you guys are doing good. Team wants me to give y'all some channel messages, so something about your, you are exposing the wicked hands. No wonder they take your channel messages out. Okay. Because y'all know one fucking thing. We good at that. And we don't mind doing it. No, we don't mind doing it whatsoever. It's time for it to be done. Um, so you guys are exposing the wicked hands. Hold on, guys. He's back down here. And let me go ahead on and get Old Faithful out. <laughs> Child, these guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, they have a mind of their own, guys. All right, guys, I'm still getting kind of situated. What's up, team? I just wanted to kind of linger in bed a little bit, but I was like, should I linger? And then the cat, Lolo, he came and he was like, nah, get up. It's time to eat. It's time to feed me. It's time to give me breakfast snacks and breakfast. So it's a routine he do. He get breakfast and he get his breakfast snacks as well. And around that time, he made sure he, when it's time to get up, he's going to get me up. So, Lolo is my alarm clock, guys. He's not really my alarm clock. God wakes me up. But I just kind of be laying there and thought, and Lolo be like, okay, it's time to officially get up out the bed now. So, all right, team. So, they wanted me to, Wow. They wanted me to give y'all some channel messages. Y'all, if y'all see my hands, I'll slice the hell up. That's my grandson, little kitty. Oh my goodness, boy. Having a baby kitten in the house reminds you about your skin. Got claw marks everywhere. <laughs> I got scratch marks and claw marks everywhere. When I have on my robes, guys, he try to climb the robe. If I have on my pajamas, he'll climb my pajama legs, and I'm like, shit. Feel like little daggers in me. So I'm all scratched the hell up right now because I'm a grandmommy of a kid, and guys. So. Going down in Washington, D.C. Bills, bills, bills. God, celebrities. So 
Somebody popping off by the fucking mouth. I was mad at you. Got part time lover out. Something about today. What's today's symbolic? Clairvoyant. Someone is clairvoyant. Rich, rich folks are having a gathering about your clear, uh, about you and your uh, spiritual gifts. They're trying to figure out how you know shit, bro. How you know shit? How you how you can see this shit? I'm telling you, these people, rich folks, having a fucking gathering about you because you sitting up here prophesizing some shit about times being up. Child, y'all know that. Y'all know we're going to confirm all your co-ex teams. So don't trip. Something about a family will. Someone was trying to keep you sick on purpose. Because they had they could have had you like a... You, it could be like a family will. And someone was trying to keep you sick so you wouldn't get what's coming to you. Somebody reread y'all messages. It's a cookie king. Somebody with his hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> Somebody with his hand in his cookie jar. Somebody who playing with that cookie. He rereading your messages. If he ain't playing with that cookie, he used to play with it. Outsiders on mute. Tech king right here. Outsiders is on mute. Jackpot right here. People hear jackpot. Something about Michigan. Michigan networking. What Michigan trying to do? Dark day. Michigan networking. They they communicating about it. They talking about the chosen. Um, American. Something about a movie. Zion, Israel. Amtrak is us. Uh, part of it. Black man. Bye bye. Spell door bridge. Something is going to take place with a bridge, too, because bridge has been constantly coming to the thought. Um, a bet, a jubilee, and takeoff. Wicked eyes are watching you, child. Let's get one more, guys. Wicked eyes is watching you, Yeah. Hidden history. The U.S. government tried to erase. Look, look, say, satanic sexual rituals came out. And look, hidden history. The U.S. government tried to erase. Oh, child, look what was up under here. I can't make this up. The Book of Destiny and Hidden History, the U.S. government tried to erase. That's why they don't like me, y'all, because I be exposing their motherfucking hands. Give a fuck. We don't got, we ain't all, my ancestors all ain't fucking just fucking die just to keep our mouths quiet. No, man, no. At all, absolutely motherfucking not, bro. That's why I kept getting your ancestors are smiling. Y'all are making your ancestors super fucking proud. That's why God gave you the job because God knew you was going to be the one to do it. Child, look, I was getting ready to move this card and look, blood on the hand. Y'all, that's why God gave you the job because God knew you was going to be the one that didn't mind exposing these hoes. Expose one. Sure, don't mind if I do. All right, guys, so we got Exposing the Wicked Hands, we got Part-Time Lover, we have Clairvoyant, and we have Family Will, we have um, Outsiders on Mute, and we have Satanic Sexual Rituals. One moment, guys. Give me one moment so I can give me a little coffee. And, you know, I hope you guys don't mind. I hope everyone's doing fine. Tell your mama and I say hi. Mm. 
Oh my God, that is delicious. Whew. Wow. It's little simple things I like, you know? Me a little coffee, a beautiful home, you know what I'm saying? You know, me and my little marijuana, you know what I'm saying? A nice glass of wine, some delicious food, because I do love to eat. You know what I'm saying? I love a beautiful scenery. I love beautiful scenery, so it don't take much. Something as simple as a little cup of coffee excites the fuck out of me, I'm telling you. I'd be like a little kid in the candy store and be like, wanna go get coffee? Yes, please. <laughs> I do, I'd be so happy. I'd be like, yes, please. All right, guys, we got Old Faithful out. Um, we're gonna start confirming these cards, guys, you know. I'm gonna always go to confirm them for you with my tarot decks, guys. Y'all ready to confirm these messages for these people? They say sure oracle. Sure oracle. You're the oracle. You got people in low energy, bro. You know too fucking much, bro. Your gifts are powerful. They be young powerful, man. They on another level. I keep telling y'all who I'm reading for is on a whole nother motherfucking level. Something done went up. But see, last year I was telling y'all, like God was giving y'all boost and power and like and giving y'all that extra drop but it's something else now since all them boosts and extra drops go ahead been giving y'all y'all on a whole fucking different type of creation and that's why these people can't fuck they don't know what to do you got scientists and shit you got scientists and researchers and and specialists and, and motherfuckers that paid they went to school and, and probably got free ass tuitions or stolen money, inheritance to pay for their colleges. You know how they go. These motherfuckers went to school all this and motherfucking time to study all this shit. And you got these motherfuckers who looked at you as the dummy. Now they are in some dummy shoes. These bitches have no clue. Y'all, when I tell y'all these scientists are fucking dumb, they dumb. They dumb, dumb. I'm so fucking serious. They have no clue by fucking with you. When you when they fuck with you, they get sucked up in a black hole and they fucking brain and everything. They can't function no more. So talking to these scientists now, it's like talking to somebody that's really, you know, like people trying to figure out how the fuck they even graduate and got their degree. Something is wrong with them. I'm getting something is mentally wrong with them. Since they didn't use their brain, that's all I keep hearing too. Since they didn't use their brain, I'm going to take it. So it's going to be a lot of bird. I mean, I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot of. It's going to be a lot of fucking people just loony. If you would have put their brain in a bird, the bird will fly fucking backwards. If y'all see birds flying backwards, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> I'm telling you, you put their brain in a bird, that bird going to fucking fly backwards. I'm telling you now, all these people who are studying you now. They can't even hold a decent conversation. I hear somebody blabbing by the mouth. Somebody drooling. Damn, somebody drooling. Child, somebody's drooling by fucking playing with you. And that's why they don't. You too clairvoyant. If you see shit, if you see and know shit, bro, they don't like that. Somebody's drooling right now like a fucking baby. Somebody wiping that bitch mouth. I'm serious. By playing with you. Y'all. Because you're exposing the wicked hand. What's exposing the wicked hand, Tim? Four of Pentacles. They, they were trying to hold. They didn't want you to. Uh, four of Pentacles. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. And the sun. Y'all exposing the wicked hands. Y'all. That's basically what they say. Exposing the wicked hands. The, the, the ones that people look up to. The ones that think they hold the fucking power. That the ones that think the power lies in their hands. So you're exposing the motherfucking wicked hands standing your ground and shit. They the four of pentacles, they trying to hold on tight. 
They was trying to hold on tight about this, about what was going on. Look, it's like, this is like your government that sits on top of every fucking thing. They, they keep all their business between them. It's like, you know, some Freemasonry type shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, they rule shit. They sits on top of the world. You know, they control shit. And they keep, they, they fucking citizens out in the blue about what the fuck is really going on up under the sun. But the sun car can show up as illumination. And you sitting, you riding on a pair of hearts, you ride, you showing up as the savior. You showing up as a child of God. You can expose these people. You can expose these people because you you this nakedness representation up here. You don't have nothing to fucking hide. You don't have nothing to fucking hide. So you exposing these motherfuckers that's trying to that's trying to run the world, keep us fucking starving, hungry, can't feed our families, barely making it, working ourselves to fucking death while they sit on all this in motherfucking finance, bro. No, that's not how it fucking goes, bitch. They sit on all this stolen shit and claim that it's theirs, bro. And you came in this bitch youthful as fuck and exposed the fuck out these boys. The sun. With four pentacles and five pentacles, these bitches tried to do everything up under the sun. Keep us out of the cold. They kept a lot of fucking up people out in the cold about what they really was doing. But it took your ass to come up in here and um, shine some light on these pussy motherfuckers. You staying in your ground doing it too. You shine light on these pussy motherfuckers. They don't like it. They don't like it. I don't give a fuck about them. Y'all, I'm just, I don't care about these people. They too fucking wicked, bro. They too fucking wicked for me, bro. So let's see what part time love is. They too fucking wicked for me, y'all. They gotta fucking go. I don't care. I already told God, you know. God, I just, you know, they gotta go. You know, it took you to make me, you know, this fabulous. So why should I sit on my throne this fabulous with all these leeches and crawlers and bugs and goons and goblins and witches and warlocks and evil wicked spirits around me. I can't sit on my throne and queen energy if I know roaches and shit crawling around me, God. And God say, you right, y'all. Say no more. I'm getting ready to um, um, send the pet exterminator over there to exterminate all the bugs. And I was like, thank you so much, God. Don't forget about the pets, too. God say, all got to go. And that's how the conversation went down. <laughs> that's how the conversation went down. I keep it real with God. They got to go, God. <laughs> and God say, say no more. I'm telling you. God going to look out for going angels. God going to look out for going angels. I don't care how it come out. How it come out. You know what I'm saying? They look at me, old, you know, I'm fucking, come on, I was raised in fucking Louisiana. Born, uh, grew up in New Orleans, raised in Baton Rouge. It's like, come on, how you want me to sound? <laughs> how you want me to be? And not only was I raised in the places, man, I was raised up in some of the hoodies of the hoods fucking places. New Orleans, Fisher Projects, Elgez, Baton Rouge, fuck, The Field, Scotlandville. I love Scotlandville, all of the field, the Banks Town, Gordia, fuck, um, Plank, Alpha Plank Road, fuck, all of it. I mean, I stood fucking literally every fucking, man, every fucking hood that they think they could have put me in, I lived in that bitch. How you want me to sound? How you want me to act? You want me to sugarcoat shit for you? No, bitch. Y'all didn't, y'all, I know y'all don't want me to motherfucking, y'all put me there. And now y'all want me to sugarcoat it? Be a little nice to you? Fuck no, bitch. This hood mentality gonna be the one that's gonna destroy the fuck out you punk ass pussy boys. I don't have to sit in this bitch like I'm a scholar and all this and shit and give you words that I can't even fucking understand. No, bitch, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna give it to you simple. Fuck you boys and fuck you girls. You bitches is going down. And that's coming from a hood, bitch. Okay? Fuck y'all thought. That's what I say. Use what they put y'all in as your strength. You put me in this motherfucking mentality. You put me in this motherfucking life. That became my strength. And I'm going to use that shit against you bitches. Okay? Okay. 
That's my straight motherfuckers. You want to put me in a motherfucker? Oh, let's throw her here. Let's kidnap her and give her to and throw her up in here. Yeah, motherfucker. You just don't know. I walked those streets. I've been in those motherfucking trenches. I know real evil. I know what the motherfucking what, uh, lives amongst us, bitch. You want me to be scared of goon? I mean, witches and t lions and tigers and bears and goons and goblins? Nah, motherfucker. If anything you need to be scared about is the motherfucker that you calling family. It's the motherfucker that you call a neighbor. It's the motherfucker that you fucking catch and rise with to go to fucking work if you have to. It's your fucking, it's your surroundings. It's the people at your college. It's the people at your fucking high school, middle school, elementary school, your whole fucking community. It was all against you. All against you, chosen ones. They programmed it like that. And now, these motherfuckers scared. Hmm. Outsiders on mute now. They thought that they was just going to throw us chosen ones in some fucked up conditions and we just be dumbfounded. No, bitch. <laughs> it don't work like that, you pussy motherfuckers. I'm going to talk my shit because I know what's happening to y'all. Mm-hmm. Now you bitches outsiders on mute. Let's see what this part-time lover is. Who got time for that? Who got time for this part-time lover? What is this part-time lover team? Nobody got time for that. Anybody got time for that? What is this part-time lover team? Ten of swords, so it's going to be an end. Something about to come to an end with a part-time lover because a new relationship is coming in. He is in some King of Pentacles energy. This new relationship that's coming in. You've been working hard. Um, something about all the hard work that you've been putting in with a part-time lover is coming to a complete fucking end. A devastating fucking end. It's going to come to a complete painful fucking end. Um, when it's come to an end, a new beginning comes. For every ending is a beginning. So once this fucking part-time lover that you putting in so much hours with, I'm getting you working hard for a part-time lover. Something about you working hard, you putting in a lot. Or it's, it could be, I just also heard, it's a part-time lover that's only with you because they, they waiting on some investments, some money that you got coming in. That shit is about to, he about to be put to an end. He or she about to be put to an end because they will not see those funds. This new person that is coming in. Okay. So it's a part-time lover that's going to be bro broken hard. Yeah, it's a part-time lover, uh, Missing with a pancake queen. So you could be wide-hipped in the area. You could have a big butt or something like that. You could be just fluffy, juicy, you know. So, you know, like stacked up. You could be stacked like pancakes, you know. Um, sweet, you know what I'm saying? But fucking with you, pancakes come out of a frying pan. Fucking with you would put them in a frying pan. That was on the back of Poor Time Lover. So somebody about to miss out. Of, somebody, ooh, somebody about to... That's why he with you, because you fine. You showing up as a pancake queen. You stacked. <sighs> but he's a part-time lover, so he's half loving you. So God about to get him the fuck about that. Yeah, God about to get him the fuck about that, because you got something else coming in. Which is showing up as a king of pentacles. And he is fucking fat. He's in fucking La La Land behind you. He fantasizes about you. He's all in his head about you. Everyone knows I'm in over my head. Over my head. That's what I just heard. He, he in over his head. Let's see what Carbonian is, team. Everyone knows. These people in their fucking head. And I'm sitting up here singing. <laughs> These motherfucker people are scared of your gifts, child. Look, these bitches is scared of this child's gift. Ace of Swords came out, Judgment came out, Knight of Swords, and the Empress at the bottom. The hair front, you showing up as you high rank, you high rank Empress. You call the shots. You showing up as a very high rank fucking Empress. You close to God. You close to divine, God's daughter. I'm telling you, they don't like your spiritual gifts. I feel like you got your spiritual gifts from higher ups. Like, you know, I've been telling y'all, a lot of y'all been on some God frequency. 
So clairvoyant, these people don't want you to use these gifts. They want you to stay mentally in prison. And I just heard Bob Marley say, free yourself from mental slavery. That was the goal. You freed yourself from mental slavery. That was the truth. You took that fucking sword. You took the fucking truth. And you got rid of all the fucking bondage and shit that these people had you in. And when you did realize the truth, when you did start seeing a lot of shit because of this gift, is what, what your gift that you got from higher ups is how you know what, every, every, what, what all these bitches done to you. That's how you know it. And that's why you able to call judgment on these bitches. Even the ones that's no longer here anymore. Even the dead got to fucking rise up to you. Because, bitch, the nerve of you. You think you just gonna motherfucking die, bitch, and I don't know what you did to me? While I was a fucking little girl, bitch, you had your hands on me? You was part of that kidnap? And a lot of you have been in fucked up situations. Anybody that put their fucking hand on you or even was part of it or even was a lookout, made the phone call, anybody, man, all, all involved. All involved, they don't like your gifts. They wanted to keep you in mental slavery. They never wanted you to pick that sword up, which is was the truth. You picked that sword up, you saw the truth. Now judgment is here for these bitches, and it's coming quick. It's coming fucking quick. You call the shots, bro. You call the shots, Empress. Call the motherfucking shots. You in some goddess Isis energy. You strong as fuck. You powerful as fuck. Call the shots, bro. Because guess what? You showing up as a fucking female god. You showing up as a female god, man. These people can't fuck with you. When I tell you, when you put the impress with the hair front, these people can't fuck with you. God, I'm, I'm talking about how your up supports you. That's why you got this strong gift. So you can see exactly what the fuck they done to you. So you can see exactly what the fuck they done to you. Yeah, they don't want you to believe it, but you know what's up. Your gifts are too strong and too powerful. What you see is the truth. So that's why you're calling judgment on these people. So when they want to know what the fuck is going on, you is making it fucking rain on these bitches. You making it rain on these bitches because you woke up and you woke up to the truth. You woke up to you saying to yourself, I know I, ain't, I I always knew I was fucking different. But no, you woke up to realize you're a fucking angel. One of God's most powerful, oldest fucking angels, bro. It, it, they didn't want you to wake up. They wanted th this one, this version of you to stay the fuck sleep. Because if this angel wake the fuck up, it is over with for this creation of man-made humans it is over with for the wicked it is over with for all this motherfucking shit and they, they never wanted you to wake the fuck up but you done woke up and when i tell you the whole world is in the fucking records because no one knows what's what the fuck is really going on you got all these religions believing, you know, to each his own. But what really going on is uh, it's some powerful for motherfucking beings on this earth. Let the truth be told. Let the truth be told. It's some powerful beings on this earth. These boys need to quit lying to y'all and tell y'all who really doing this shit. But they don't have to. We'll just keep turning this mother down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't make me, don't make me, yeah. <laughs> a ratchet ass angel. <laughs> a ratchet ass angel. God know I'll be pee popping. <laughs> God know I'll be popping. I came from there. God know. God laughed at me. God was right there with me while I was popping. God watched over me, baby. Ooh. God said, now when you finish popping, come and let me talk to you. <laughs> you know, it's the whole learning thing. You know, we was, you know, I'm glad God chose my ratchet at this. I'm not going to even fucking lie. <laughs> family will. What's family will, team? So it's the emperor. Like, I'm getting a father figure or something. Could be grandfather figure or something like that. Um... Something about a family figure with a um with the emperor. Why the fuck I say family figure? Mm -hmm. Family will with the emperor right here. Queen of Cups. 
So what I'm getting is either it's like mother and father type shit, husband and wife, some type of family will that these people knew about. Like your real parents or some shit like that. Your parents or a great grandfather left you in a will. You left a it's a family will with you in it. Queen of Cups, mother energy, sweetheart. She could be the mother of you could be the mother. This she could this could be showing up as mom energy. Or it could be, you know, daughter energy. What I'm getting. Ace of Wands, definitely. Y'all, death card. Ace of Wands, something came through. This is a powerful fucking family will, too. It was written. God wins. This is the Ace of Wands with the death card. Something came through. You're going to win through death, something like that. Some type of way, someone passed away. Someone passed away. That's how you inherited all your power. That's how you inherited all your gifts. You got gifts from a deceased person. Through death, it was a rebirth. You and it was a rebirth when you were born. It was a rebirth of this person using a fucking family will, bro. And they not gonna fuck it. I don't know, bro. But you in the family will, and something is coming through. It's been a long time. It's a lot of wands energy, y'all. So this is energetic and transformational, bro. Look, the hermit right here too. And look, knight of wands, nine of wands. The two of wands and the king of wands with the fucking hermit holding the wand, a staff too. So this is a lot of fucking, this is a lot of energy rushing in. It's a lot of shit going down behind this family will and whoever this emperor is. You could be like a, I'm getting a king, somebody like a king, a royal being. Like I'm getting a king, like your grandfather or something like that, like something dealing with grandfather or father could have was a king that passed away. That passed away. I'm getting like he could have been cremated. It's a churn with him. Somebody could have a, a churn of his ashes. Some type of way his ashes, they they gonna be able to DNA test something. And something is coming through. Somebody was lying. I'm getting like the government kept some shit to themselves. You like, child, I'm telling you, y'all. You like somebody's motherfucking. It's a family will, bro. It's written. Your, your grandfather or somebody came to you was, was a king. A deceased king is what I'm getting. A deceased fucking king, bro. But when you were born... You inherited someone's power and gifts. So that's why you so fucking strong. And this is probably the angel. This is probably the angel that watches over you too. Um, but what I'm getting is like these people know who you are. But a lot of these motherfucking people hid evidence and shit. But this DNA testing going to come back out on this hill. The DNA testing already came back out. These people know exactly who you are. Your bloodline is written in the will, baby. You're going to be surprised. You, you're a royal being, and these motherfuckers knew it. Family will. They, look, somebody was keeping somebody. Look, keeping you sick on purpose. So this king, this king could have been killed on purpose. Behind the family will. This king could have been ki killed on purpose. No, you know what? The Your community was keeping you sick on purpose. So you will never see this fucking family will. Or know about this family will. They wanted you to fucking die. You got some inheritance coming. It's written in paper too. It's on documents and everything. When you put the one with the family will, it's on documents. It's on paper. It's a family will. These bitches didn't want you to know that. Outsiders on mute. See, they know you clairvoyant, though. The strongest fucking kind they ever seen. So they know eventually you're going to find all this shit out. Dumb bitches. What's outsiders on mute? 
Now they on mute because they know that's the king's daughter. Something like that, king's granddaughter. You something dealing with a king. Something about a king is very close to you. Very close to you, baby. It is written. They got fucking... I'm telling you. They got results. They know who you are. You're a descendant of a king, bro. Or you, you own a lot of royalties, bro. They owe you. Child. Outside is on mute. Let's see what we get. Yeah, they know their time's up, y'all. Time's up. Um, the outside is on mute. Time is up on these people. Um, the will of destiny is here. Will of fortune is here. Um, it's destiny. It's written that this shit was going to come. That you chose ones. All you, you heavens and those who dwell in them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rejoice, you heavens and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and sea because the devil has gone down to you. That energy. So that's why these outsiders are on mute because they know the only ones that are protected or uh, what God said is going to be protected. It was written. God said, you heavens, you heavens and you who dwell in them. I'm getting uh, permanent um something very symbolic about the um the firmament above us is protection something's gonna come down that these motherfuckers ain't never seen before i'm getting firmament energy but both at tough as fuck from this one and this one and what is crazy is both of them is 10 10. something definitely life-changing experience or never seen before experience is about to fucking happen no one ha that is living Besides the ones that keep shape shifting, that keep jumping in vessels, but this is gonna be a storm that uh these are uh, these people have never seen before. Something is coming. Ye rejoice, you heavens, and those that dwell in them. But woe to the earth and sea. Something is gonna come down. Hence, all the great clouds around here. Like the clouds are even gray, so it's a great storm that is coming. It is written, is what I'm getting, and it's going to happen. But something about the firmament is very fucking symbolic about that. Then we had the five of wands. These people are fighting and scrambling now. I'm just seeing them trying to fight for their life now. But it's over with. It's really, really fucking over with, bro. I joke a lot and everything, but I don't know how to sugarcoat this. I don't, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit for you. It's really over with for a lot of people. They can run, they can, and, and then what's going on is a lot of fighting amongst each other. Something about the 25th could be very symbolic. Fuck, today is the 25th. <laughs> Damn. So, wow. Okay. Wow. Today is the 25th. So, outside is going to be on mute today. Something about a lot of people running and scrambling, trying to, something, I think a riot, I'm getting riots may take out. Y'all, riots may be very symbolic. I'm getting riots and everything. Outsiders on mute. Like, they, they don't want to, like, these motherfuckers don't want to talk about this shit. Like, everyone is satanic sexual rituals. But see, but see, when you get shit like this here, what you want us to do? What you want God to do? Like, this is the type of shit that comes out, even in the end of, and you know, they good book speak of it. Even in the end, these wicked ones are going to be doing what they want to fucking do still in the fucking end. So, you know what? Go out with a bang. However you go, go out with a bang then. If that's how you want to go out, go out with that bitch. So, satanic sexual rituals going down. The temperance card just fell out. What else was satanic sexual rituals? Oh, child, it's a powerful angel dishing these bitches some karma. I just said, if that's what you want to do and it, to the end and that's how you want to go out, then go out with a bang. Something going to happen to these bitches because what goes around comes around. Look, the angel is pouring in some shit to these bitches. I'm getting like a big explosion. Something going to explode. Something about an explosion. I just saw an explosion. Um, these motherfuckers who are doing the satanic sexual, sexual rituals, baby, 
everything that they was trying to summon up for their gains for these rituals is about to come straight back to these bitches. I'm telling you, um, 1422 could be very symbolic. These motherfuckers was doing um, satanic rituals on these Adam and Eve couples. Um, what I'm getting, these unions. Um, these people was taking part in doing this shit. Um, what I'm getting is that all who was involved in these sexual rituals with this Two of Cups, um, something about red is very symbolic. Red angel. These people about to get fucking dealt with, y'all, in such a fucking way. In such a fucking way. I am telling you, all who laid down, the men who let their weebies get hard, the women who let their legs bust open to perform these sexual ritual acts, I am here to tell you motherfuckers right now that you're going to wish that you never let that weebie get hard or that cookie get hot because it's not even fucking worth it because that's how you bitches going to leave. Page of Wands, it's going to be painful too. It's an angel that's about to destroy the fuck out of all these nasty motherfuckers that's doing the satanic sexual rituals on you. It's an angel. I just said I saw an explosion and everything. Something exploded. Something was like an explosion. These bitches ran up and kissed, kissed the uh, karma angel dead in the motherfucking face. I'm telling you, somebody was doing some type of satanic sexual rituals and an explosion happened. Y'all, it, it really do look like some sci-fi shit, some Twilight Zone shit that's going on. Because, y'all, the, I don't even know how to explain this shit to y'all. But, it's like this. Like, soon as they put some negative shit out, it's like karma is it's hitting them instantly. Like, y'all, this is instant fucking karma. And I remember last year, I was like, it's gonna come a time where motherfuckers gonna receive instant karma. They gonna have to watch what they say about your name because shit gonna happen to them instantly. They gonna start keeping your name out your mouth because they gonna be too scared to speak your name because fucked up shit happens to these people even when they speak your name. Instant. It's a lot of instant fucking karma. And I think whatever fucking happened with these motherfuckers with the sa satanic sexual rituals, some shit went down. Something happened. An explosion happened. Something could have happened. What's 1422? Oh, that's 222. Two, two. Triple two can be very symbolic. 1422. 1422 military time is 222. Two, two. So 222 two, two could be very symbolic. Something happened. Um, and these people about to get it. Yeah. Something definitely fucking happened. Child. Some type of explosion could have happened at uh 222, 1422. Something definitely fucking happened. It's the powerful angel that showed up on these people in the middle of them doing these satanic sexual rituals and fucked all over them people. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoy this read. Peace, guys. Keep exposing the wicked hands. They hate your gifts. They hate that you can see things. You know what I'm saying? They hate that you're clairvoyant. Um, for those who have this part-time lover that's in your life that's waiting for your phones to come in, um, a painful ending is coming to him. Um, that person got to fucking go. God got new love coming in the door for you. Um, you are some type of descendant from a king, from some type of royal family. You, your, your bloodline is royal. You come from a royal fucking family. You are actually in a family will. These motherfuckers never wanted you to know that. Your shit has been stolen to, for somebody else while, the, while they letting their family and their generations live up off your stolen inheritance. Um, outsiders on mute because shit that has been prophesizing is happening right before their fucking eyes. So these people don't know which way to go or which, which way to come. I'm telling you, it's a lot of confusion going on, y'all. So y'all just make sure y'all connect with spirit and source. Use discernment during these times. Don't second guess your intuition. And you rejoice, you heavens, and those that dwell in them. But woe to the earth and sea.
because the devil has gone down to you. 